YouTube. Welcome back to the den. It's nice to see you as usual. Title of today's video is Domestic Discipline. My husband punishes me when I break the rules. Let's get right into today's video. This is Brandy. She fell in love with Lazarus. We have been together for 15 years. We're happier than we have ever been. But this couple's secret to a successful marriage is not what you might expect. We have been practicing domestic discipline for roughly 10 years. I think you said you only use your hand. That's not true. And their choice of lifestyle gets a lot of people riled up. People can say, oh, you're abusing your wife. I'm calling the cops. We get a lot of, the woman is brainwashed. Looks like it's going to be a good one. I love everything about my wife. He is very, very loving. Like he's sensitive and caring and just loving in general. Loving feelings aside, this pair have a set of strict rules that govern their day-to-day -day relationship. We have been practicing domestic discipline for roughly 10 years. A domestic discipline relationship is a dynamic between two consenting adults where you have a dominant and a submissive. The dominant is usually referred to as the HOH, which is head of household. <laughs> oh man, it's funny. These they got these acronyms. Man, they have acronyms for everything nowadays. Submissive is referred to as a sub or a TIH, which means taken in hand. The dominant sets rules and expectations for the submissive to live by, and there are consequences for not following the rules or not meeting those expectations. The four D's are danger, disobedience, disrespect, and dishonesty. dishonesty. Following up on consequences being broken under the four D's, it could be from spanking or writing lines, corner time, or just a, a stern lecture. <laughs> it depends on which rule you broke. They all suck. Oh, man. <laughs> So I asked her to write a line stating that being submissive is important. It was being submissive is very important. It's a unique quality to have. I will be submissive at all times to my HOA. You are seeing a common theme between these videos. I'm not going to give it to you. And I had to write 10 pages worth. 10 pages. I don't find writing lines as demeaning. Um, it's, I guess, just like any other consequence, it's not fun. It's tedious and it sucks, but that's about it. In addition to set punishments for Brandy's rule breaking, there's also set tasks regarding the division of labor around the home. Daily household chores would be dishes, cleaning the kitchen, doing the floors, double checking the bathrooms, make sure they don't need to be deep cleaned. That needs to be in the trash can. Dining room table our bedroom and usually to you see all that detergent i do all of the cooking unless it's grilling he does the grilling you might be surprised to learn that the idea for this relationship structure from Lazarus. gotta keep something when brandy first brought dd lifestyle to my attention i felt kind of awkward i didn't really understand why i kept getting a book recommendation for a book called Spank Your Spouse, Avoid Divorce. Bruh. A lot of it surprisingly <laughs> made sense. So I just decided to bring it up to him. At first, I thought I was hurting my wife. And you know, it's, it's just the mind, mind thing on that part where it feels awkward, but looking into it, um, I understood why. I have never left a mark, considering like a black and purple bruises or anything like that. Why do you guys consider this not abusive? Uh, we she likes it. Don't consider it to be abusive. One, because it's consensual. I don't think people consent to being abused. Um, two, it was my idea, and I had to convince him to do it. There's no long-lasting damage. It hurts for a little while, and then it goes away. Okay, domestic discipline and BDSM are different because in BDSM, there's an enjoyment factor. Either you enjoy getting spanked or you enjoy spanking somebody. I don't enjoy being spanked. He doesn't enjoy doing it. There's really not much similarities. It doesn't bother me 
that he doesn't get the same it's gonna hurt you more than it's gonna hurt me do because our <laughs> situations are different and our roles are different and it wouldn't work well, I just realized I have 827 member requests today I started the Facebook group with one of my friends who is also in the lifestyle this was a safe space where people can talk people can vent without worrying about husband seeing it i think most people choose to remain anonymous because they know that they will get judged for what they do the world sucks when it comes to judging things that they know nothing about people can say oh you're abusing your wife i'm calling the cops so we get a lot of the woman is brainwashed and stuff like that what the hell was doing this <laughs> stop saying hell i'm seeing a, a strong family structure you know i'm seeing how a clean home mild mental mannered people in general so you know i believe in the nuclear household and if this is going if this is keeping a nuclear household together and it's keeping it structured you don't have any pushback from me our kids pretty much know everything about domestic discipline more so than the people who be writing the negative articles about it <laughs> our kids know pretty much all the ins and outs of it are you still reading yeah is there even questions at the end of this? Nope. And I'm 13 years old. I understand quite a bit about domestic discipline. I mean, there may be some things that people find iffy with the rules and how they have set, but I don't think anything is too uh, crazy. Like they're aware of the lifestyle, but they know it's a choice and they know it's not something that they need to do unless they just decide it's what they want to do. I want <laughs> more. Hey, more B dubs need to watch this. A lot of you, that's the problem with a lot of you guys. A lot of you guys just grew up without having discipline in the first place, which is why you can't get, get in a relationship or get in a, a structured relationship with somebody when you have to be governed in some form of fashion. No, I didn't say controlled. I said governed. If the man is the, the head of the household, you're going to have to deal with some form of government. And a lot of women in American society and a lot of black women, because this, this is a part of my diaspora, do not want to render that control and it shows in our community i not have but. a similar relationship to my parents as i just don't believe it would suit the type of person that i am it's not for everybody not for everybody that is true i think the ends justify the means because we're happier than we have ever been we get along better than than most couples i don't think we could be happy without it anymore it is our life basically You'd be amazed at how many people actually live this way. Hey, all in all, hey, it might be different to some. It might not work out or it might not be the thing you want to do. But look, like I said, you have a nuclear family. You have a clean home, a pristine home. You have kids that look like they're very well mannered. I have no problem with a situation like this, but a lot of women... And a lot of women in America and a lot of women in my community will say, hell no, because they just don't want to re render that control to a man. Let me know, you guys. Do you guys think you could be in a relationship like this? Let me know, guys. Could you live in a household that practice DD, domestic discipline? Do you think it's something that would be better suited for a lot of homes? Let me know in the comment section, guys. I appreciate you coming by as usual. You know, this isn't my full time job. So every time I'm in here, I'm putting in overtime for your entertainment and well-being. Until next time, everybody. Peace.